Hey guys. Um, yeah, the next topic is about uh, all the challenge we have in Federal Atam and what we need to reactivate this region. Um, you know, in the last maybe three or four years, uh, you know, pandemia and other topics, uh, I think it's internal topics, I don't know, I am not going to talk about that topics, it's, it's not important, but you know, the pandemic destroyed everything and um, all the countries in Latam, um, Mexico, Panama, Argentina, Chile, Colombia, um, Venezuela, and other countries, you know, disappeared maybe these two years. And, you know, in pandemic, any, com any team can work in different, uh, you know, uh, events. Uh, it's, it's not possible because all the people is locked in their house and in other sites, you know. But, you know, um, let me open my notes because this is my first time in the vlog I go in as a, you know, as a speaker. Um, but I am ready for this, I think. Thank you, Justin, for giving me the opportunity to, to talk about Fedora in, in this uh, conference, about community. And uh, let me start with this. Uh, this is not a, ta a talk, it, this is a, maybe a discussion, because we need a help. We need a help to reactivate the region, the Latam region. In this region, we have a lot of people uh, in different countries, and what happened in the past, um, the principal event in Latam is the FoodCon. And obviously, and the Fedora members know this event disappeared, uh, is uh, deprecating. It's not, uh, we don't organize more food cons in the, in the Latam uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, regions. Um, you know, what we need now, we need support. We need support, we need ideas, we need brainstorm. Um, and this is why um, I try, I come in with this topic in this session, because we need help from all the people, Mexico, um, NA people, uh, Justin, Red Hat, uh, because one of the goals is, you know, in my mind, one of the goals is talk with the former ambassadors in these regions and try to come back with these ambassadors to reactivate country by country. I need being, you know, I need talk in private maybe or in other sessions with all these ambassadors um, about what we need to reactivate this, uh, you know, country by country. Uh, because all the events uh, disappear and the community extinct, I think, in the, in the Latam side. You know, this topic was born from seeing how to Fedora Latam community has been disappeared and we are almost extinct, you know, and I miss my, my, my Latam region, I miss that. I, I want to uh, talk with my people in Peru, Argentina again, and Chile. And, the last week, I talked with a former ambassador. One of these guys, I think, I, I talked with Alex Callejas, I talked with Jose, I talked with Alejandro Perez in Panama, uh, Abdel Martinez in Panama, uh, Luis Segundo in Panama, other guys in, in Peru, Alex Oviedo. And my question is, give me a feedback. What do you need to, you know, what is your feedback to maybe to reactivate the region? Because I am not the only member of this, of this part, of this team, of this community. And, you know, I need the feedback for all the ambassadors. And this is what I get back, you know. I get back these answers, you know. I get carry out workshops. The people say we need more workshops in LATAM, packagers workshop, documentation, translators, localization, because the people need motivation. In LATAM, the people need motivation. I don't know in, in the other regions, but I can talk about LATAM. In LATAM, if you don't give a goal for the people, the people not, you know, don't feel, I need contribute for, to translate, but what I receive back, you know. This is a volunteer, volunteer um, role. You know, you are a volunteer, this is a contributor, this is free, but maybe the people contributing a, with a, to the community but maybe want to receive something back, you know, maybe a motivation. And in, I have one idea to this motivation. What 
do you think if take the people in the country A and send to the country B, and the people in the country B send to the country A, you know, as maybe per event, send people to Mexico from Panama, send people to Mexico to Panama, Panama to Argentina, and maybe create these workshops with this ambassador. Not, not send all the people, obviously, you know, the budget is important, but send um, one ambassador the next week or the, the next event to Mexico to talk with the Mexico team and maybe uh, learn about how the Mexico community, you know, grow these two years because Mexico, yeah, I congratulation Mexico because you have a big community in your side and maybe the next talk is about that. And the questions are is how are we going to do it? How can we reactivate and improve our communities? This is two questions. The, one second, and the, la the answers. Let me list the answers in the, in the screen. You know, the answer is carry out workshop packages, return to large LATAM events, such as a FIRS. I mentioned FIRS, I don't know if Brazil continue organizing this event, but I mentioned this because in this event in the past, Fedora put a stand and talk and networking with a lot of people, thousands of people in Brazil. Brazil is a big country. And other events, obviously, you know, we lost food, uh, food con, but what, we, what I can say when, when I say large events, maybe we need to create a new event for LATAM because FLOG, and sorry for that, FLOG is, I think, only for NA people and APAC, EMEA, EMEA, but it's really hard to a LATAM people to travel to EMEA maybe sometimes, you know, Maybe we need to create a new large event for LATAM to, you know, to meet with all these people. You know, this is the f answers, the, the feedback from ambassadors. I think this is the most important uh, answer for, from the ambassadors in LATAM. We need to create a presence. Again, generate noise in all the countries. You know, generate, we need more noise in all LATAM countries. Um, with universities, uh, I don't know, students, uh, public events. Uh, in Panama, um, we have uh, maybe per month some events in universities. We need to reactivate again the, maybe um, ambassador program is there, but you know, we have, we need to reactivate again these ambassadors because the ambassadors disappear, I think. I don't, I don't know where is it, the ambassador now, but it's, it's not, it's not in, in, the, in the countries disappear totally. I, I, I don't know, we need to talk with all the ambassadors. Um, some people mention other countries, uh, Colombia, Republica Dominicana, and other sites. Um, I don't know if you have the contacts for this site, please give me to, with, to start the communication with these uh, teams. And how can we start? I think I jumped all this slide talking, I, I, I miss put, you know, uh, click in the next, but you know, I say this, we can start with me. I can contact each the former ambassadors to see if the world like to resume activities. But you know, what happened if this former ambassador not like to come back? I have other option, you know. The other option is, you no, know, after listening, you know, the other option is if the ambassador not want to come back because in the past, uh, he fight with the community, I don't know. We need to start communicating with the new guys in, the, in, the Fedora, in this Fedora community because we have a new guys, but this requires take uh, them by the hand, you know? This, these people need help to, to grow and to understand how to create events and to understand other things, to understand the rules, the project, the code of conduct, you know? These new ambassadors need uh, understand all these topics because, and you need to explain this because, you know, to don't uh, broke the rules, you know, and to create a good events in all the, uh, in, in the countries and in the universities. Obviously, we need swag, we need uh, sponsors, we need uh, maybe some budget. In the past, we worked with Fedora with a uh, budget. Uh, LATAM worked with some budget. I don't know in 2023 the budget of LATAM. I don't know if Alex understand the budget of LATAM. You have the numbers of the budget of, La of LATAM, no? I don't know. Today, LATAM not have a real number to say, okay, we have this budget to work 
with all the countries. In the past, we have a budget. We have a budget to work with all the countries and say, okay, this is for this country, this is for this country, because we need money to, to create noise, to move events, you know, to create new events, and maybe to create uh, swags, to create banners, etc. cetera, no? And now, okay, I put, I put the, I think, the, one of the next uh, slide. Now, after listening to all this, tell me how you can help Oh, in this room, I know, if you have any idea to give to LATAM to reactivate the region, give me the idea, send me in the channel, send me in the chat, ping me in any channel. I, am on, I think I, I am on all the channels in Fedora, infrastructure meetings, LATAM, uh, batch, mindshare. I, I think I am, I am in all the channels. Ping me and I need these ideas because we need, it's important for the community to reactivate this uh, region. The rayon, we lost the rayon the last, in the last two years and we need to uh, reactivate. And if you have these, the ideas to help or to reactivate the rayon, please give me. No problem if you are from EMEA, APAC, LATAM, NA. Well, you are welcome to start help to the community to reactivate the rayon. In the past, the people from EMEA and APAC and NA traveled to the food cons in, in LATAM and help some, with some workshops. Um, and this is important. We need, um, we need pe external people to share the, all the, I think, all the projects from Fedora because we have a lot of projects inside Fedora, documentation, website, infrastructure, applications, uh, developers. Wow, we have a lot. And yeah, we need help to, to, to teach um, these people, because now we don't have, uh, we don't have maybe um, um, how I can start, how we can start, because you know we need a start. Um, any question at this point, team? Yeah, please go ahead. Question or um, suggestion? Merek Suhi speaking. Uh, I wonder, like. What I've seen is that you said, like, yeah, we need to be present on many conferences and start new conferences and uh, a lot of stuff and more money and more people. And, yeah. uh, and, and it's like, like, like full front on, yeah, and more people, more people sending there and still the same way. And uh, I'm wondering, like, why? Like, uh, do you have some data for that, or like, uh, I, but just not criticizing or like saying why? Uh, I can give example what we done in Czech Republic in the Brno. Okay. Uh, rather than having big conference, many of them, we have one big in Brno, but, but mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't activate the uh, community there. We are doing uh, a lot. A lot of small stuff. Okay. Uh, Git courses uh, at school, uh, coding stuff at grammar school and high schools, mm. uh, 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 packaging uh, workshops for the people from the community outside. Like you are outside for the fair, but you want to create yeah. the RPM package. Fine, let's come to this workshop. Uh, uh, summer camps, so a lot of small activities which yeah. you can uh, groups uh, like meeting in the pubs uh, and speaking about Python. Uh, everybody buy their own beer, and this costs you literally nothing, nothing but your own time. Yeah. And we can have like we have literally every week some activity which costs nothing and keep people pushing. You don't yeah. have this uh, time this week, so what about next week? What about next week? No. Come, this guy doesn't cost nothing, just, just your time. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a, I think it, your, it's not a question, it's a, maybe a suggestion. Your, yeah. Uh, for example, in Mexico, uh, in the next talk, you are going to receive a lot of information of the Mexico community, but in Panama, I can talk about Panama. In Panama, uh, you know, we push the people, the universities, all the times, Obviously, we have some goals sometimes, you know, uh, because I want maybe some packagers. I, I try to, to recruit, you know, some packagers, uh, documentation people, 
a translator, maybe, because sometimes we need to translate the documents to Spanish or to other language. Um, yeah, I tried that in Panama with, with, with uh, Fedora Panama team. Uh, I think Fedora Mexico do the same. Uh, but what happened? Um, and it's a good point. You know, you know, you you don't need a big uh, team. You need a small groups, and this is this group can broadcast. You know, and diffuse uh, all the information. That part is perfect. But what I need, I need the same in Peru. I need the same in Chile, Argentina, because in the past we have this team, these small groups, but this group disappears. Why? It's a Large history. Oh, sorry, Justin. Uh, yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. Thank you for that point. Lukas, Czech Republic. Uh, I I wanted to remark that the situation in the Czech Republic might be a little bit different because we are a small country. No. And if we we have something called PIVO, for example, which is a development discussions regarding Python every, every week, I believe, in a pub. So people who are interested in Prague, they hop on a train and they can reach Brno in no time and take part in PIVO if they want. And that might be a different thing in Argentina, Panama, Brazil, uh, where there are distances big as hell. Uh, I believe you, I think you could, however, move these activities online a little bit and share something online. Uh, I wanted, however, to remark something else. Uh, the previous talk said that uh, it's a problematic to get people involved in doing Fedora documentation. Okay. And now we have uh, problems to get people involved in communities yeah. in LATAM. Correct. And what if our bars are set too high? And I would like to explain. Sometimes I have the feeling that if there is a if there is somebody who finds out about Linux and uh, he or she would like to get involved, yeah. then they don't know how to start. And when they start, it's not enough. Like, they make a pull request, for example, and mm. immediately they get a review which is full of, don't do this, do it differently, this is not, this is not enough, you need to learn this first, and then uh, the people just lose their interest because it's too difficult to get involved. Mm, yeah. And uh, maybe we should embrace uh, attempts and uh, we should just take it and, and maybe make it better. Uh, I wanted to say this already when the documentation talk was here, that maybe if people do not know how to make a pull request for documentation in ASCIIDOC, maybe we could accept an article written in LibreOffice, and maybe we could find someone who is more experienced to convert it to, convert it to ASCIIDOC, and we would have at least that content, if not the form. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, if we accepted, I don't know, talks, how-tos, uh, articles, how do I use Fedora? Maybe even if it's not 100% correct, maybe still it's worth to gather it somehow and to, to, publish, uh, to make it public uh, uh, and uh, make it better over time. Well, uh, it's a, you mentioned a good idea, you know, uh, you say remote sessions, yeah? and maybe request remote session with um, experts, maybe, to explain about, you know, this good push, good merge, good, re yeah. Oh, sorry. And it's a good idea to create these workshops, maybe if the expert person, 
the, the engineer, the expert engineer from Rail, Fedora, I don't know, is in Brunel, in, Republic, in Czech Republic. We can schedule a session with this guy. I, we, the people in Panama can translate your session, obviously. Um, and we can do this session about documentation, for example, and maybe motivate the people in the, in the university to start documentation, start translation, localization, infrastructure. But obviously, we need the correct person to, to teach, to, to start teaching. Uh, of course, it's always better when uh, there is an expert teaching something. Yeah. But I was a teacher originally before joining Red Hat, and I think that uh, for starters, it's enough when the teacher knows just a little bit more than those people. <laughs> oh. So uh, experts are fine, but uh, also helpers are fine, you know. Yeah. So, and uh, I think the, the the good point about oh, communities is that uh, okay. that one expert could serve many, yeah. but the community can't exist without those helpers. And I think we need more helpers who just say, okay, I can help with this up to this point. I can't help any further, but then maybe it's not needed because those coming people, the newcomers, may be, you know, very intelligent people. Yeah, and I, and I mentioned that. Uh, uh, Justin, we have a time or we have a time? Two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Yeah, and I mentioned that. Uh, please, Jose, oh. share your, what you're going to oh. say. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, Fedora Latin, we, we must import focus. Um, we must focus in, in people. So. Connected with the people. In, um, it's, it's, it's important to pay attention to individuals and establishing connection with, with them. Uh, maybe, in this moment, no. It, it, it debemos contarlo. Debemos contarlo, sí. bueno. Ok, um, yeah, you know, we need to pay attention to all the peoples in, in, the, in the Latam, you know. It's a humans, I know. And, you know, this is the moment we need to start, uh, I think, connect with the people to start uh, involved with, with, with the uh, to connect with the people, to involve yeah, with all the guys and then start a uh, church, you know, all the uh, things, all the topics, uh, all, the, um, all the workshops, etc. I think this is uh, yeah. what, what Jose tried to, to say to, to, the, to the team. And uh, one minute or two minutes, finish? Ah, oh, yeah, it's finished. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to create this week uh, with Nidhi, uh, with Kevin Fancy. I'm going to request the LATAM channel in Matrix. Um, please join to that channel. I receive all the ideas. And I want to uh, talk with you, sir. Maybe to uh, this. Yeah, just this. Uh, feel free to remind me per email if, if you Perfect. want to when the channel is created. Yeah. Uh, I am Lorusinska uh, from Fedora PUE. Ah, you have Centos, yeah? Centos Kiwi, Kiwi. No, Fedora Kiwi. Fedora Kiwi, okay. Yeah, let me, thank you, thank you for the time and thank you for uh, the opportunity, Justin, to talk about Fedora Tan region. And that's all, team. So as a quick note, it is now lunchtime. We'll have lunch served in the suite upstairs just before the meeting room. So go and get yourself a seat and a bite to eat.